So far, we've discussed the first part of the grid system found on globes, parallels of latitude. Now let's take a look at the second, lines of longitude, also called meridians. As you can see, they run north and south. And unlike lines of latitude, they don't lie parallel to each other. They bulge out at the equator, then get closer together until they finally intersect at the South Pole and North Pole. By the way, meridians also form rings around a globe, but these rings run north and south, unlike the rings formed by parallels of latitude, which, as you recall, run west and east. The lines made by meridians are measured in the same way as lines of latitude, in degrees and minutes. The standard reference meridian, located at zero degrees, zero minutes, is usually called the prime meridian. Because it runs through Greenwich, a town just outside London in the United Kingdom, it's sometimes referred to as the Greenwich Line. When other meridians are drawn to the east of the prime meridian, we identify them by saying 15 degrees east, 30 degrees east, 45 degrees east, and so on. When they're located to the west, we say 15 degrees west, 30 degrees west, 45 degrees west, and, well, you see how it works.